Hi everyone, my name is Patty Laurel Fillard, and today I'll be reading a few pages from this book. It's called A Long, Long Time Ago, A Prehistory of the Philippines. It's brought to you by Halo Halo Histories, written by Michelin Suarez, Juni Garcia, Divine Reyes, and Benjar Katinding. Chapter 1 Once Upon a Dahon Creation Myths We Told Ourselves A long, long time ago, before the invention of Facebook, the internet, mobile phones, and even color TV, your great, 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 great times 5,000 parents lived, hunted, made babies, worshipped, and buried their dead in what we now call our country, the Philippines. Back then, of course, it wasn't the Philippines yet. It was a collection of volcanic islands, some connected by land bridges to mainland Asia in the Pacific Ocean. Ever seen those reality TV shows where they put a bunch of clueless folks on a desert island to fend for themselves for prize money? Well, it was something like that for the first people in the Philippines. Except there was no prize money, and the prize was to survive and have cave babies that would grow up and survive to make more cave babies, etc, etc, etc. Our cave lolos and lolas and our cave tita boys and tita beings were actually pretty cool ancestors. They had to survive a world without convenience stores by hunting and gathering their own food. They had no hardware stores, so they had to make their own tools and weapons. They had to find shelter from typhoons, volcanoes, and earthquakes, not to mention predators. They had no band-aids or drugstores to run to when they got hurt or sick. It was kind of like the Hunger Games, but for real. This part of our history is called Prehistory. It happened before there were any written records which were first discovered here around 900 AD. So how do we know about these people? From the things they left behind. Their tools and household items and jewelry, their cave drawings, and yes, their bones. Some scientists even examine prehistoric poop to see what our ancestors ate. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Even before the first cave posse set foot on our islands, we had to have islands to begin with. So without further ado, let's start at the very beginning. A very good place to start. Creation myths are stories that try to explain how the world was formed and where we came from. Our lolos and lolas looked up at the sky and at the earth around them and figured that all of it had to come from somewhere, and their imaginations did the rest. Today, scientists and churches have their own explanations for how the world came to be. But long, long ago, our ancestors made up stories to try to make sense of the world around them. These stories provided answers to questions like, Who made the world? Where did we come from? And what happens when we die? And those stories were pretty good. Writing hadn't been invented yet, so these stories were handed down orally, maybe around campfires on starry nights. The usual cast of characters for these myths are gods, goddesses, magical creatures, and monsters. There was love and war, heroes and villains, supernatural worlds, tragedy, and plot twists. These tales stand up pretty well against the best novels and movies of today.